Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on SQL vs NoSQL by Simply Learn. In this session, we will learn about SQL, what is relational database and then have a look at what is NoSQL and non-relational database. After knowing both these technologies, we will compare both and see when to use SQL and when to use NoSQL. Then we will have a look at the companies using these technologies. So hey everyone, I am Abhisara Uja from Simply Learn. And welcome to this video on SQL versus NoSQL. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. First, we will have a look on what is SQL. SQL is the standard language for dealing with relational databases. SQL can be used to insert, search, update and delete database records. SQL can do lots of other operations including optimizing and maintenance of databases. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, pronounced as SQL or sometimes as SQL. Relational databases like MySQL Database, Oracle, MySQL Server, Sybase, etc. use ANSI SQL. After understanding what is SQL, let's have a look at relational database. A database is a set of data stored in a computer. This data is usually structured in a way that makes the data easily accessible. A relational database is a type of database. It uses a structure that allows us to identify and assess data in relation to another piece of data in the database. Often, data in a relational database is organized into tables. A relational database management system, RDBMS, is a program that allows you to create, update, and administer a relational database. Most relational database management systems use the SQL language to assess the database. SQL syntax may differ slightly depending on which RDBMS you are using. Let's see some popular RDBMS. MySQL. MySQL is the most popular open source SQL database. It is typically used for web application development and often assessed using PHP. PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL is an open source SQL database that is not controlled by any corporation. It is typically used for web application development. Oracle Database. Oracle Corporation owns Oracle Database and the code is not open sourced. Oracle Database is for large applications, particularly in the banking industry. SQL Server Microsoft owns SQL Server, like Oracle Database. The code is closed sourced. Large enterprise applications mostly use SQL Server. SQLite SQLite is an open source SQL database. It can store an entire database in a single file. One of the most significant advantages this provides is that all of the data can be stored locally without having to connect to database to a server. Now we shift to NoSQL. NoSQL is a non-relational data management system that does not require a fixed schema. It avoids joins and is easy to scale. The major purpose of using a NoSQL database is for distributed data. As to store this data, we need humongous data storage. NoSQL is used for big data and real-time web apps. For example, companies like Twitter, Facebook, and Google collect terabytes of user data every single day. NoSQL database stands for not only SQL or NodeSQL. Carl Strauss introduced the NoSQL concept in 1998. Traditional RDBMS uses SQL syntax to store and retrieve data for further insights. Instead, a NoSQL database system encompasses a wide range of database technologies that can store structured, semi-structured, unstructured, and polymorphic data. Non-relational databases are often used when large quantities of complex and diverse data need to be organized. For example, a large store might have a database in which each customer has their own document containing all of the information, from name and address to order history and credit card information. Despite their differing formats, each of these pieces of information can be stored in the same document. Some popular non-relational database systems are Neo4j, Redis, MongoDB, Cassandra, Apache Atpace. After understanding both the technologies, we will head for the comparison. The first point we will consider here is definition. SQL databases are primarily called RDBMS or relational databases. NoSQL databases are primarily called as non-relational or distributed database. The next point is query language. SQL stands for structured query language and this is the standard language when we talk about SQL. But when we talk about NoSQL, NoSQL databases have no declarative query language to work with. This brings us to the next point that is type. SQL databases are table-based databases. 
tables form the backbone of this entity. But when we come to NoSQL, it includes everything. NoSQL databases can be document based, key value pairs, graph databases, and much more. The next point is scalability. SQL databases are vertically scalable and can be stacked on one another, whereas NoSQL is horizontally scalable. The next point is usage. SQL is an ideal choice for the complex query intensive environment. But when it comes to NoSQL, it's a little left behind as it is not good fit for complex queries. The next point is open source. In SQL, there is a mix of open source like PostgreSQL and MySQL and commercials like Oracle database. But when we come to NoSQL, they are ever since open source. The next point is principal model. SQL follows ACID model, which is atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. When coming to NoSQL, we have base model, basically available, soft state, eventually consistent. After comparing both SQL and NoSQL, let's see when to use SQL. SQL is used when analyzing behavior related tasks and when you have to give any customized sessions for your clients. And SQL is the preferred language used to communicate with the RDMMS. It is also used for building custom dashboards. The main use is when you have to store and get data from the database quickly. The last point for SQL is SQL is preferred when you want to use joins and execute complex queries. Now we'll see when to use NoSQL. NoSQL is used when your data does not require ACID support to work with and you can use base properties to work with. And NoSQL is used when traditional RDBMS model is not enough. We use non-relational database as NoSQL came to fulfill the voids of SQL. Also, NoSQL gives an advantage as it is used when data needs a flexible schema. And another advantage of NoSQL is it is used when constraints and validation logics are not required to be implemented in a database. The most important point is NoSQL is used when logging data from distributed sources. Now we'll see some big companies using SQL that is Microsoft, Dell, Cognizant, Stack Overflow, Entity Data, and Accenture. Now let's see companies using NoSQL that is Amazon, JP Morgan, Adobe, Capgemini, Qualcomm, and SAP. With that, we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section. Also, do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.